Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this glowy spring makeup. But before we get started, I just quickly wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Clinique. I was almost out of my favorite Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. So I went to Macy's to purchase a new one and got this awesome gift with purchase bag filled with some of their best selling products. After spending only $28 on a product I was going to buy anyway, look at how many products I got for the same price on such a cute makeup bag. And this is available from March 28th through April 15th. And as you guys can see it comes with this little eyeshadow palette that comes with two eyeshadows as well as a blush and I think that first eyeshadow color would actually make a great highlighter it also comes with this lipstick that is so perfect for spring it's a nice pop of color but it still hydrates your lips as well as you guys can see it has a glossy tint to it so those are all the products included in the gift with purchase so make sure y'all head into Macy's during those days to get it and without further ado let's just get right into the makeup tutorial so to start off this look, I'm first going to moisturize my skin using my favorite moisturizer. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. As you guys can see, I have used up like pretty much the whole bottle. This was in my top 16 products of 2016 video. So this is like my holy grail moisturizer and I'm just going to apply this to my skin to prep for makeup. And you do get a little bottle of this in your gift with purchase bag, by the way. Now I'm going to prime my skin using the Clinique Super Primer and this color corrects as well. So I'm just going to apply this to my face. So for foundation today, I'm using the Clinique Even Better Foundation in the shade 16 Golden Neutral. Guys, this foundation makes my skin look so healthy and like it's super buildable. Like as you guys saw, I put two layers on, but you could definitely just do one layer and it'll be a really nice like healthy glow. But I just wanted a little bit more coverage, but I'm really liking this foundation. So for concealer, I'm taking the Clinique Airbrush Concealer in the shade Neutral Fair. I'm just going to use this to conceal my dark circles. I'm also going to take this on my chin the bridge of my nose as well as my forehead and I'm also going to use this to prime my eyelids for shadow. And that's the whole look, you're all done. I'm just kidding. So to fill in my brows, I'm taking the Clinique Instant Lift for Brows Pencil, and this is in the shade 03 Deep Brown. So one side is a pencil for your eyebrows, then the other side is a highlight stick to highlight your brow bones. So I just took the same concealer that I used from underneath my eyes to clean on my eyebrows and so for above my eyebrows I'm just going to take some more of the foundation I used. So for my contour I'm going to be taking the Clinique Chubby Stick and I am just going to be using a cream contour today instead of a powder because I feel like that gives you a more like glowy and dewy look as opposed to powder.
Guys, this contour stick just made cream contouring so easy. Like, I'm not that good at cream contouring, and this just made it, like, so easy. Like, I'm in shock I actually was able to do it. I was kind of nervous at first. Like, I used this before I went to Miami, and I was still kind of pale, and it looked a little bit too orangey on me, but now that I have a nice little tan from Miami, I feel like this looks really good like i think this is one of like my favorite new products so now that i'm done with all the cream products i'm just going to set my under eyes using the clinique translucent powder and i'm not going to bake today because again i want this look to be very you know glowy and dewy so i'm not going to do too heavy of an under eye bake so i'm just going to powder underneath my eyes and then i'm also going to take some translucent powder onto my eyelids just to set it for eyeshadow For my eyes today, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm going to keep it very neutral. So I'm taking this palette from Clinique. Can we take a second for the packaging? It's so cute, but I'm getting fingerprints all over it. Starting out with this shade right here, I'm just going to apply that all in my crease to give me a transition color. So now I'm just taking a denser crease brush and I'm taking this dark chocolate shade right here. It's in the shade French Roast and I'm just going to put that on my outer V. So for my lid shade, I'm just taking this light pink champagne -y tone. So yeah, I just wanted to keep my eyes super neutral, so now I'm going to move on to mascara and lashes. So for mascara, I'm just using the mascara that came in my gift with purchase bag, and this is the Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara. Do you guys see my lashes? Oh my gosh! I didn't even curl my lashes, and they're like curled and long, like 10 out of 10 Clinique. I'm just taking a pair of luminous lashes and I love how spiky these are. Um, there's no style name on the box. It just says style. So to finish up the eyes, I'm just going to take these last two colors right here and I'm just going to smudge that on my lower lash line. I'm going to line my lower lash line with the Clinique Quick Liner in the shade Rose Coffee. And this is just a brown color. So to highlight my cheekbones, I'm just taking the Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade Hefty Highlight and just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. Then I'm also going to put it on my Cupid's bow. Nose. So now onto lips. I'm just gonna line my lips with the Clinique lip liner in the shade Intense Cafe. lip color today I'm using one of my new favorite products this is in the shade nude pop and I've been loving it every time I wear it I get so many compliments on it and it is just the prettiest pink color ever so I'm just gonna apply this to my lips and I love the applicator as well <laughs> let's get this hair down you know what I actually think I like my hair better up for this look So that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and also subscribe for more videos. And I love you guys so much and hope to see you again on here for my next video. Bye my loves. Mwah.